I'm responsible for running a, a, a big climate support program in the German government. It's 400 million a year. And we support climate action in more than 80 countries, including many small islands, and also including activities on adaptation and, and disaster risk management in those, in those islands. So, and what we saw is, I would highlight two areas. One is uh, insurances, so we tested um, uh, small-scale insurance schemes for, for smallholders, farmers, communities in Caribbean islands. This could only work if you involve both the private sector, the communities, uh, but also the, 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 the parties. Another area where I think the activities of, of non-state actors are absolutely crucial is in the area of adaptation, where we are specializing in particular on, on, on ecosystem-based adaptation, which means we, we try to use the services, nature, biodiversity, can serve for, for adaptation and resilience, but also for the for the, for, for the livelihood of the communities. For a facilitative dialogue, how to do that? What should be involved? It's not theory, uh, you cannot think it through just from a legalistic or from theoretical point of view or a negotiation point of view. You have to take into account the praxis on the ground. And the praxis on the ground is here. So what, what is necessary and what we try to achieve here is to give more room for the action agenda, to give it more prominence and by that also uh, feeding it uh, to the process and, and helping to, to shape um, uh, solutions in, in, uh, in the formal decisions of the negotiators which, which are practical, which are meaningful, which have an impact. But also here, what non-state actors are doing, the momentum created by the, by the Paris Agreement, by the Paris outcome that everybody now has to start to implement is very helpful in this regard because parties then can recognize and acknowledge the actions which are taken by non-state actors can, and can see, okay, it's not that difficult for me as a party, as a national government to commit to something more. That's what we hope. So that, And also the second thing would be that non-state actors put some pressure on parties. They say, oh, why, why are you so hesitant? You, you, you can do it. We can show you. We are already doing it. So go ahead. I think we all have to save the one planet, it's the same planet. So let's do it. We help you. We help you in this kind. This kind of confidence uh, for, for, for the parties could be created by non-state actors and all their, 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 their activities.